You know the way people always say there's two types of men? I'm going to give you an example. Now, this happened a few years ago, but, you know, it's still, no, it still applies. So I was out for a co-worker's birthday party and we all went to the nightclub afterwards. And there was this dude, the whole night, this guy. Anytime I went to the bar, he was there and he would not leave me alone. Kept telling him over and over again I wasn't interested. And I eventually had to say, look, I'm married, which I am, like, you know. To which he said was, you don't have a ring on your finger. Now, I worked in Boston Scientific. It was a clean room, so we weren't allowed to wear jewellery. So I always had to take off my rings, but I forgot to put them back on before I went out. But I said, um, even if I wasn't married, um, I think that would be a little bit of a, a hint that I want you to fuck off. You think I'd lie about being married because I was interested in you? So I spent the rest of the night trying to avoid this dude, right? I was trying to have a good time with um, my friends or whatever. So it came to the end of the night. We all had to go outside or whatever. And the bouncers were still there trying to usher people out of the nightclub. And the guy who wouldn't leave me alone was very drunk. And it turns out he's a very angry drunk. Now, I don't know exactly how it started going down. But he started like shouting at the bouncers for some reason. I don't know. But then he threw a racist slur to one of the bouncers. And I just, something clicked in my brain. Now, I'm not a violent person by nature. I'm not. But I went over and I kicked him in the balls. I mean, he deserved it. He had it coming all night. And being racist was kind of the last straw for me so anyway a few minutes later most of the people had dispersed so the bouncers were kind of like you know they were kind of like just hanging around at that stage i was um just kind of standing around talking to my friends and one of the bouncers came over and he said that was awesome what you did earlier are you doing anything are you doing anything later on today tonight like do you want to hang out like oh i'm not again but i said i'm so sorry but i'm married and he said, oh, God, OK, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, OK, have a good night and thank you for standing up for me earlier. I was like, OK, that's something I'm definitely not used to. <laughs> so, yeah, there are two kinds of men. And the second one was a big breath of fresh air. Anyway, that story just came to my head. I thought I'd share it. So that's it. Bye.